What's going on, man? What happened? I just felt like I really had to just get out of the house and escape that environment. The happy, gleeful little Brandon from the beginning of the season is gone, and he's been replaced by an imposter in a bucket hat. I don't know what happened, but this is not my br hashtag not my Brandon. He used to be so hopeful and so full of life. He and his fiance had such a great plan of of moving in together and making $18 a month and then getting pregnant. They even opened up a little store that was marginally better than the imaginary store that Nicole and Azen had. But I don't think Brandon could handle the pressure, and now he spends his days just laying around town, being woken up like an NPC from Oblivion. Based on how obsessed Mary was with Brandon in the beginning of the season, you'd expect that she would be very excited when he proposed, but that was not the case at all. Brandon's proposal was a sad, somber affair, and I'm not gonna lie, I thought he was gonna bail halfway through. Um... I didn't rehearse this at all. I just... Well, you probably should have. Will you marry me, Mary? So how did it get to this point? Who could have seen this coming other than 99% of the people watching this season? Well, in this video, we're going to find out together. But first, let's just have a word from today's sponsor, NordVPN. In today's day and age, having security and privacy on the internet is increasingly important. There are all sorts of cybersecurity threats out there and people with bad intentions. I mean, you've seen on this show how many people want to take advantage of and scam others. So NordVPN is kind of a no-brainer if you're looking to browse the internet more safely and hide your information and location from cyber criminals. There are hundreds of servers to choose from in dozens of different countries, and their app is very easy to use whether you're on your laptop, tablet, or phone. You might think that you're careful enough on the internet, I thought that for a long time, but I was surprised to learn that there had been more than a few times that I'd had data leaked and I didn't even know until I had NordVPN. If you're interested, signing up only takes a few minutes and all you have to do is click a button and you're protected. Otherwise, everything will run as it should in the background and you don't need to worry about it again. If you're interested, now you can sign up for a two-year plan and get four months free if you go to nordvpn.com slash thequickslice. Again, that's nordvpn.com com slash the quick slice to get started on your two-year plan plus four months free the link will be in the description anyway let's get back to the video don't worry i wipe it <laughs> it's both positive See? oh no this is the new one yeah we're having a baby now <laughs> why <laughs> where so without resolving any issues whatsoever and continuing to fight on a regular basis, these two decide to get pregnant and have a kid to solve everything. This has got to be one of the most half-baked plans we've ever seen on this show because neither of them have a job and their relationship is awful. I'm sure we'll be a good parent, you know? Yeah, of course. Right. So, how are you feeling? Um, I don't know how I'm feeling. I just can't believe you're pregnant. I just can't believe you're pregnant. I know this is what we were trying to do, but I didn't I didn't think it would actually happen in reality TV. What are you, some kind of clairvoyant? Let me process this. Uh-uh. Well, it happened, so the baby is here now. Uh. My tummy, so... <laughs> I know that. Let me process this. I gotta be honest, I don't think he's ever gonna process this. I think this dude's gonna be processing and buffering for the rest of his life. Some people have kids when they aren't emotionally ready. Some people have kids when they aren't financially ready. Some people have kids when they're when they're ready for neither. And then there's these two. These two aren't ready to take care of a carton of eggs. I want to wait until marriage before having sex. But I changed my mind because when Lolo is gone, I feel so confident. And Brandon is here now in person, and I really love him. Alright, well, you can be in love and have all the confidence in the world, but you still need a plan to take care of your child. I get that people are blinded when they're in love, but it's crazy to me that these two are in a rush to have a child when they're both very young and they have so many problems in their relationship. I feel ready to give my all to him. Eh, give it 15 minutes. You know, we're humans. I'm having a baby fever, so that's why I really want a baby. <laughs> right. I know we were trying, but it's different when you're trying compared to like when it actually happens and you're like, okay, hold on. What does that even mean? You were trying to have a kid and now that the results that you were looking for have happened, you're like, okay, hold on, wait a minute. This isn't what I signed up for, all this baby stuff. You just had a mental breakdown outside of a church because I glanced at another human being and now you want to have a kid? And apparently I do too? We're, what are we doing? Should we name her Barbara? Like I thought it would take longer. Well, it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, you know, you guys easily could have taken longer if you wanted to. Nobody was rushing you. You're both 23 years old. We already knew that we we're gonna get married and we we're gonna have kids at some point. And she's like, you know, I just really, really want a baby. And I thought trying to make a baby will help us become better couple. What the hell is he talking now about? Now that she's pregnant, I'm like, oh, this is really happening. Like, Yeah, it's really happening. What did you think? You just had a VR headset on that you could pop off at any moment? It blows my mind to hear someone like him say that having a baby is going to help or repair their relationship or bring them closer together in any way. If you're having all sorts of relationship problems and you're struggling financially, you're telling me that to help out, to bring you closer together and to save everything, someone should walk up and be like, hey, here's a baby. So anyway, right when Brandon finds out that his fiance is pregnant and now he has a million more responsibilities, he decides he's going to wake up at 1 p.m. and be a full-time gamer. It's been two weeks now since we found out that Mary's pregnant. Even though we were trying to make a baby, I still have anxiety like, how am I going to take care of this kid? You know, what kind of father do I want to be? So... So even though we planned to have a baby, I kind of forgot that babies cost money and that they, you know, like need food and stuff. I thought they could just filter feed like Spongebob from that one episode. Also, are babies the ones that grow up into adults? Because I don't know if I'm ready for all that, you know? I thought that babies were just kind of like puppies. You see, I want to take care of something adorable, but I don't want it to grow up and watch this show and realize that their father is a dumbass. Most of the time, I wake up, eat breakfast, and then I attempt to clear my head, usually just relaxing on the phone, playing video games or something like that. No wonder he's going crazy. This guy's playing Lord of the Rings Gollum. Babe, are you playing that fucking Gollum game again? Are you really, you're gonna choose that over our relationship? That is, that is the most insulting thing I could possibly imagine. Since I found out that I was pregnant, I'm always like doing all the chores and he will like wake up for like 12 or one playing games all the time. So wait a minute, let me get this straight. As soon as she got pregnant, this guy just completely dipped out mentally. He decided now's the time to stop giving a shit. Not before they had a child when he had a chance to leave. Now's the time to start wearing bucket hats and disappearing in the wee hours of the night only to be woken up by the camera crew the next morning. I really wish he would help. Before he's like nice and doing dishes. But now he changed a lot, but not for the better. Hey, give him a give him a break. He's just gearing up to be a dad, okay? I'm sure he's job searching right hey, now. Hey, let's go. We need to get supplies for the store. Okay, yeah. Hey babe, have you heard of this Bitcoin? All the kids are buying it. Two months ago, we opened up a shop in front of our house. I come up with the idea because my grandma had store when we were little. They are very common. We go to the Sari Sari store. That's what we call it in the Philippines. And we buy some chips there and some candy to stock all the food. Hold on a minute there. So you're telling me they just walk down the road and buy shit from another store and then just walk it back a couple hundred yards and then just sell it for pr presumably a higher price? It's an interesting tactic, I'll give them that. Buying things at retail prices within walking distance of their store. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard of anything like this. To make any kind of profit, you'd have to upcharge like crazy. And if people know that there's another store within walking distance where they can get it for a lot cheaper, they're gonna go there. I did borrow money from my friends to build the shop and buy all of the products. Oh God. So it's a lot of pressure for me and Brennan now. So you borrowed money just to go to the store and buy a bunch of different things? Not even in bulk, by the way. They're buying individually packaged things. It would make a little bit more sense if they had some kind of strategy when it came to the deals that they had or the sales or, or coupons or something. If you're going to run any kind of business anywhere in the world, you can't just autopilot your way through it. So this costs like 470 pesos? Yeah. How much do you think we could sell it all for? Maybe 500. Do you think we could charge more? I don't know because there's a lot of store near us. So obviously the prices of things and wages in America are a lot different than they are in the Philippines. But even if you look at the average salary in the Philippines, they are making nothing close to that. The whole reason we kind of built the store was so that it would help us pay for our bills and our necessity needs. It's so hard because we didn't really make a profit out of it. And then Brandon doesn't help at the store much. Yeah, it turns out if you borrow a bunch of money and then half-ass a business, it's not going to go well. You actually have to have a plan. You know, you have to think at least a few days in advance. And another thing is he's not helping because he doesn't speak the language. Oh wow, it turns out that's an issue. Maybe you should have spent some time learning. I know I'm getting fired up, but I mean, come on. They FaceTime for two straight years and he knew he was moving there. You're telling me at no point did he try to learn her language? Now it's interfering with her business. And also he knows they're having a child, but he still hasn't started learning the language. 
I mean, he's probably gonna want to do that for his child's sake. Earlier when he said he likes to wake up and then play video games for a while to clear his mind, I think that's more of a way for him to distract himself from the inevitable, which is that he's gonna have a whole lot of responsibility pretty soon. How much do you think we make per month? It's like a thousand pesos. And you know, like, how much debt we're in? Um, it's like 60,000 pesos for the store and the product supplies. So if they continued at the same rate that they're going now, it would take them roughly five years to pay off the debt. But at the same time, not all of your income is going to go to the debt, obviously, so it's going to take much, much longer. They could pull the Big Ed or Angela route and just try to become a character on this show permanently, but somebody's going to need to throw a drink or something because this just ain't cutting it. So what do we do to get profit? Hold my bones. I just want you to like wake up early and help me here at the store. Maybe we can besides waking up early and helping at the store. I didn't come all the way here just to work at a shop. We, we were supposed to have a fairy tale love story where nothing bad happens ever and everything is magical and we just get along and all our problems just disintegrate. I gotta be honest, I was under the impression that we were gonna be living in some sort of jelly bean gumdrop land where there's no responsibilities and babies feed themselves. Where is that magic world you promised, Mary? Where is it? Sure, I sleep in, but I'm not really working mainly because there's a language barrier with customers. I do need Mary's help inside the store. Hey, I may be too lazy to wake up and go to the shop early, and I may sleep in sometimes, but at least I was also too lazy to learn the language of the country I now live in, so I don't see how any of this is my fault. Imagine actually providing that as an excuse after moving to a new country, like, well, how am I supposed to work anywhere? I don't even speak the language here. Oh well, no solution to that. Might as well just have a kid and play some more Gollum. Um, I'm getting cold feet all of a sudden. Um. This has been a long time coming, um, and I just wanted to basically, um, say that, um, you know, I love you. I love you so much, and I just want you to know I would do anything for you, and I would do anything for our baby, you know, except taking care of it. I'll be around, I'll be in the other room, just poke your head in if you need anything, you know? How long do pregnancies last again? A couple years, right? I don't know how else to say this other than you're pregnant. Mm, what's that? Pizza. Hopefully, if you say yes, this is like your engagement ring. Hopefully, if you say yes, dude, you gotta ask the question first. He got so nervous he forgot to even ask the question. Will you marry me, Mary? It's very awkward and my mind still stressing over the debt and hey mary i know it'll help take your mind off the debt an expensive wedding that we don't have money to pay for he's not helping me with the chores i don't know what to say you know it's like this is not the right time if he's not even helping out with basic chores anymore why would he possibly be able to help out with a child it's pretty interesting seeing her shift from being super possessive over him to sobering up and realizing oh shit what have i gotten myself into and i want you to wear it Right now. <laughs> yeah. It's not. It's not gonna fit though. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. There's quite a large gap there. Dude, that's not even close. Everybody wants a fairy tale love story, and then some time goes by and you're proposing to your pregnant girlfriend on a rainy day in your tiny little convenience store that makes $18 a month. Maybe we can get it resized? Yeah, you know what? That should be at the top of the list of priorities right now. Getting the ring resized. Yes, Brandon, that's what we should do. We should go get the ring resized. I have total confidence that once that ring is fitting snugly on her finger, everything is gonna just fall into place. You know, it will cost money too. So we don't need to like force it to fit me. I bought this ring when I was still in America because it had a unique engraving, I am enough. So I just felt this would be a really perfect ring to propose with. But <laughs> I felt like I totally just blotched it. Wait, you what? What the hell is he talking about? Yeah, Brandon, I think it's pretty safe to say that you blotched this one. I don't know if I've ever seen a proposal this awkward before. I don't think she's even actually given an answer yet. I think she's dodging the question. Anyway, I know this is very cheesy and corny, and I'm being very awkward about it. Yeah, me not... too, and I didn't expect it right now because, like, we're stressing so much. So yeah, she was not happy with how he proposed, and I think this also put into perspective how far from ready they are for any of this. She wanted a perfect marriage and family and all of that, but instead of actually progressing towards that, they decided to jump the gun and get into something they weren't ready for. You know, marriage is not like a joke. We're not kids anymore. 
soon we will have a family, so we need to like be mature enough financially, emotionally, and everything. It's pretty scary if she's become the voice of reason here. You know what I mean? I think as soon as she got pregnant, reality began to set in for her, but not for Brandon, maybe because it's not physically happening to him. But one day that baby will be here, and both of them are going to have to figure out something. Anyway, I think that's about it for this video, but there's still more to talk about with these two. Brandon's mom visits soon, and things are about as awkward as you expect. And I know I'm behind on all of this, but don't worry, I'm doing my best to catch up. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Also, thanks again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Touch me, hold my bones, my heart, and everything breath inside me. You, the beautiful poem, your child has come to be alive, to dance and to sing.